What's up, everyone? This is ROG Vicious, and with me, as always, is Shapupe. Most definitely, dude. Two peas in a pod. No, because you're <laughs> poop. Remember? <laughs> That's right, poop. Two poos in a pod. You're poopy. Oh wait. Okay, I gotta clear this up. I've changed my name from TMG Starchy to ROG Vicious, and two. In order to use the capture card, we had to take the HD off. So now my controls are all fucked, as you might want to call it, so, <laughs> I mean, look, I'm testing it out right now just to see how bad it is, and it's pretty bad, you'll see a fail uh, later on, um, either part one or part two, no, part two, but you'll see me fail epically trying to kill a zombie, and um, it's because of the controls, like, the uh, lag between, like, the right analog, so it's, you'll see it, and you'll laugh because it looks horrible, and I look like a complete piece of shit playing, but... It's it's the HD. Yeah, let's be honest. Sucks. I laughed at it. I was laughing pretty hard. Yeah, you were being a bitch. That's what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, baby. Round one, the hardest round in the game, because you have to pr you have to really uh, not, concentrate here. You, you can't use the pistol, and you've got to prevent yourself from wanting to use the pistol. And yeah. that's why it's so hard, because you know you want to shoot them with a gun, but you have to knife them because you get more points that way. And Plus uh, you, can you serve save ammo. ammo. Yep. The pistol really, I mean, especially this beginning pistol. Um, later on, you can, I mean, depending on what you get from the random weapons box, or if you want to pack a punch this pistol, you get Mustang and Sally. Um, also get this quick revive, too. That'll that is help. essential for solo. Because if you end up getting caught with your hand in your pants, uh, that is a tape quote. Copyright. I don't know if it's copyright, but that's a tape quote. Um, if you get caught with your hand on your pants with zombies, uh, you're going to die. So a quick revive is really nice for that. Also, these first couple rounds, leave a window open. You kind of messed up there, but that's yeah, cool. Yeah, kind of. Leave a window completely open, and when they begin, the next round begins, repair it, and you get more points. You, you guys will see me fail a lot in this game, mainly because I'm so worried about the, uh, the lag in the right analog, but, uh, See, I mess up there because I try leaving a window open so I can get bonus points in the next round by boarding up a window. Because, honestly, the first two rounds are for points. That's all they're for. Oh yeah, and especially if you use the knife, um, you get a lot more points. I mean, maybe put a couple bursts into a pistol, but the nice thing about the later rounds is you can put tons of bursts into a single... Oh, you get so many points. Oh yeah, most definitely. You get like tons of points for just unloading on a single zombie. So, yeah, just you know, throwing it out there. In case yeah. anybody wants to I'm, I'm just building shit up right now, uh, just waiting for zombies to come at me. I do not like it when they jog in the second round, it makes me nervous. But I got a max ammo, so yeah. I'm, I'm gonna thank that jogging zombie. Yeah, <sighs> just in, in general you want to keep, you know, uh, boarding windows. I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> Eric actually, uh, he tried doing something with the voiceover, and he ended up pausing it, so we had to split the video right there. Yeah, but you got a nice insta-kill, and then uh, you get a double, double points, points right there. Best combination of uh, bonuses in the entire uh, zombies. Yeah, that's an awesome combo. You don't get it very often. You you either get one or the other. But, uh, like, honestly, if I were on round 20, that would be such an awesome deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely when you have so many zombies. Especially when you have automatic weapons, you can just kind of spray down an entire fucking area. Oh, yeah. I mean, for the hell of it, you could even, if, I mean, I highly suggest, you know, keep a pistol to round 20, but if you had the pistol, that would be awesome. With 80 shots, you just, you know, they're sprinting at you, you just unload your pistol and just save ammo, but if you, honestly, if you keep a pistol through round 20, you're an idiot, or you're really or you're, goddamn yeah. amazing at the game. <laughs> or you're fucking Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I don't even God. think Jesus would last till round 20 with a pistol. <laughs> Alright, I just gotta point this out, because I thought this was kind of funny. Oh, yeah, see that fail on the wall? Anyways, how did I not get hit there? I have no idea. You definitely... Like, they were just kind of like, oh, at least he's running by us, we don't I, care. I even remember running that way, thinking I'm going to get hit at least once, but I can risk it. But, anyways, this is actually our second take on this video. Which is kind of annoying because it's a 15 minute video, so, I mean, you know, we gotta do it over again, but like, I noticed that when we were listening to it over again to make sure it was good, um, I could hear Eric chewing chips. I was hungry, what, what are you gonna <laughs> say? Like, come, oh, on. We were <laughs> come on. I thought it was funny though. I mean, <laughs> it was pretty, we should have left it in the video. We should have, Would've but been great. we were way too uptight in that video. It also reminds me, we're trying to, uh, <clears throat> I got chips in my throat. We were, uh. <laughs> We're uh, we're trying to loosen up a lot more in our videos to make them 
you know, more fun. I know we have, like, we've got about 112 yeah, subscribers now. 112. 112 subscribers now. Yeah, that's great. We're keeping track of the exact count. It's too bad we no, can't get counting. to the point where we're like, well, it's somewhere in the thousands. Or... Yeah, it's sort of like 2256 or something like that. But, uh, yeah, we... We want to make our videos more exciting for our viewers, and uh, let's we also want to get more uh, commentary from you guys. You know, like yeah, we don't get much feedback on some of our videos. Oh, that also reminds us because we put this in our first video. We want comments on what your favorite random weapon is and your favorite weapon off the wall. Yeah, um, random weapon box is good, but like some weapons you get from it just suck balls. Yeah, like you can get the pistol, and uh, in the later rounds, I do not see when you would ever want to use a sniper. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see why you want to use a sniper at all in zombies, unless you're, of course, you're up in the random weapons box room, or the pack-a-punch room, you can kind of sit down there and, like, pick people well, off, yeah, but, but, like, even then, it's... You only get so much time in there, and you don't have enough, you know, time to use all your ammo, or what's the fucking point? It's a pain in the ass, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a pain in my ass. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that comment, because, uh, Eric's a guy, <laughs> and a pain in any guy's ass is not good. Uh, it's a Were you concept. drunk last night? No, I wish. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd have a pain in your ass. Oh, shut up. I did not mean to pick up this nuke. Yeah, when you got a crawler, you definitely want to leave him around, but oh right. well. Because you don't get points from nukes. There were only like four zombies left, and I'm also at round five, which honestly is a risk for dogs. And I don't want to fight dogs with the M14. 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 <laughs> so, oh man. Um, luckily they don't show up though. I I really shouldn't have picked up that nuke and like it was weird because even as I was running towards the nuke, I was thinking I really don't want to get it. But my other side said, "Blow these fucking zombies up!" I wanted to see them light up, baby. <laughs> like the Fourth of July. Times ten. Times. Okay, we ju we just turned this joke into a corny slash borderline homo joke. <laughs> Slightly homoerotic. All right, into the next room. Yeah, when you start getting overrun, like that's what's nice about it is you're point hoarding kind of. So all you basically have to do is like you know keep in that room as long as possible, and you're gonna do yeah. that with the next couple of rooms too. Um, just make sure you don't like leave too many spots to get uh, cornered mm -hmm. as well. Like I don't even think you use the alleyway in this entire game. I do at the end. That's well, at the end, fucked over. Yeah, but like when you're going through the game, you don't have to open up every door. No, I, I actually, when we get to the door um, that I suggest you don't open, I'll point it out. Like, if you're if you're trying to survive for as long as possible, um, I'll show you which door you should not open unless um, unless you need the random weapon box, which is the reason why I go out in the alleyway, but uh, because of the lag from the HD and the capture card, I it ends up fucking me over because the uh, sensitivity is this is awesome by the way i've never seen that when you're down having uh what what are the names of the uh, mustang and sally mustang and sally i had mustang and sally on when i was down which was weird but cool at the same time because i raped the shit while was zombies so yeah but, blood sex anyways what was i saying about the door and the alley leaving. yeah yeah because uh it, it was so sensitive and it was so lagged that every time i turned to run around the zombies it would end up pushing me back into him, so I would turn too sharply, and that's what ended up screwing me over. And you'll see it firsthand. It's, it's stupid. It's it, it pissed me off because I know I could have made it to, like at least round 16 or 17 without the random weapon. Yeah, and like what's kind of nice too is I mean when you get the uh, unlimited or the max ammo and stuff, it helps. But like honestly, uh, partly what I don't like about the random weapon box is you get weapons that you can't buy off the wall and when you get to a certain point in different rounds you can actually end up getting um, upgraded ammo for them by buying it off the wall. It's a little bit more expensive than the regular ammo but at the same time it's, it's an upgraded better, weapon it's, anyway. It's so. better than a random weapon upgraded because that costs a lot more money and also if you get a weapon that you don't like, like let's say you get the ballistic knife which I it's mean, cool when you don't mind, it's, it, it's but. fun but it's not gonna help but uh... Like, if you get the ballistic knife, then you gotta purchase more money just to buy another random weapon. And I know a lot of people get lucky, like me, I know a couple times the first random weapon I get is the ray gun, and then the second one I get is the thunder gun. Different, which just, different game, but... Different game, I made it, that was the game I made to round 20, before I ended up being a fucking idiot, and doing something stupid. 
that cost me to die. Probably blanking it or something. Probably. Okay, I make several mistakes <laughs> here. I run past the Juggernaut. I don't activate the Teleporter. And then when I run out of ammo, I run right past the MP40 wall. And I'm out of ammo and I have to run all the way back around. So if I can give you any advice about this loop that I'm going to be doing for the next little while, uh, don't fuck up like I did. <laughs> yeah, don't don't be a derp. <laughs> yeah, don't don't derp on yourself because yeah. there were so many things I could have done right there. I I was supposed to link up the teleporter so I could get to the pack a punch room. Um, I was supposed to grab Juggernog so that I could survive multiple hits without getting raped because I do not have um, so I, because I don't have an insta revive now. Quick revive. Quick revive, yeah. I don't know why I call it insta. Okay. So you see this insta kill? I'm actually gonna be smart this time and not go for it. Because. You probably could have gone for it at the beginning, but you didn't want to risk it without the uh, quick revive, so. Uh huh, because I don't have Juggernog. And there were two zombies there, and two swipes, and I'm down, you know? And you know what pisses me off? I hate it when they swipe you twice, but you run for like an extra five feet before you fall yeah. down, because you're like, oh my god, I survived! And it said, you survived somewhat rounds. You're like, Dude, it's just fucking annoying. Because you think you made it, and then... <laughs> it's just one of the ones where you go like, ah, fuck. And look, look, the MP40 is right there. I don't know why, just... why you didn't grab that ammo, I don't oh, know. Now we gotta do this Jesus. loop all over again. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's nice to open up all the doors. How did that zombie not even see you, either? Oh, he did. He's just, again... A He's a derp. Yeah. It's actually kind of fun when you kneel, like when you lay down, right in front of a crawling zombie, and you back away because it looks like a cinema kind of thing. It's <laughs> like he's, it looks like he's coming at you and stuff. You get the camera angles and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then you point that out. And then you're a derp again because you still didn't link the teleporters. Oh Jesus! Right, <laughs> I didn't even mention that in the first one, the first, uh, the, the first take. Oh, it's the second time we've done that, and I've just. I think it that. was because I realized that you need I need the ammo, the ammo so I just didn't even think about that. I was just thinking about ammo. Like really, when you get to the higher levels, you want ammo all the time. Like it doesn't well, even matter. Well, obviously, because if you don't have ammo, you're gonna be fucked. Well, unless you're a god. Damn, I don't even think Jesus would survive zombies. And Jesus is a zombie, but still. <laughs> Is he? Well, yeah, I mean, he rose from the dead. Touche, but he didn't end up <laughs> eating people. Well, no, but that's just sacrilegious. <laughs> yeah, but if Jesus started zombies, then he would teach zombies not to eat people because it's sacrilegious. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, oh, I got ammo, good. Not I thought that little spiel hey. got us to the uh, ammo, <laughs> to the back ammo. into the action. That was, that was good. Um, also, I don't know if you guys noticed earlier, but uh, when I ran past the billboard that shows you where the um, random weapon box is, it showed that it was in the alley, and I literally wanted to bash my head against the wall, because like I said, it's the one wall, or the one door, set of doors I don't want to open. Um, yeah, and especially with Kino, you don't have to open the alley, but like, you don't, you unless, can go... you want, unless you truly want the random weapon box, or the challenge of upgrading all the weapons on the wall. The collector, I believe, is that achievement? See, I'm back on track now, I got Juggernog, I've got full ammo, now I'm gonna win the teleporters, because these dumbass gimps. Yeah, and you have more than one crawler, so you can take one out. Yeah. Um, you really only need the one. Usually the last zombie in every round uh, does go berserk on you. Only, though, only yeah. if you injure him yeah. before. That's true. So if a zombie is a regular, just like, limping zombie, he's not going to go berserk unless you injure him beforehand. So that's a little fun fact for all you bitches out there. This is true. I'm just kidding. All you subscribers, you're not bitches. We love you. A lot. No, you're all fucked. Right? Um... Well, they hate us, and we might as well hate them. Mm -hmm. They don't hate us, though, because they're subscribing. Oh, and see, I killed the last zombie. Well, they, they hate you, they just don't want to tell you. <sighs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dog time. It's evil dog time. See, I'm going to that door. That's the door I was talking about. You don't want to open it unless you're trying to get that challenge or the random weapon boxes out there, which unfortunately for me it is. But now it's dog time. Uh, with dogs, I find the best is just the automatic weapons. Like, you can use the shotguns. Uh, stakeout's pretty nice when it comes to the dogs, but to me, there's just nothing better than a nice automatic weapon, especially with these earlier dogs. You you know, a couple shots and they're dead. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Shotguns are perfect against dogs. Against zombies, shotguns suck. Yeah. I'm just going to... I mean, in my opinion, they suck, because if you have a huge wave of sprinting zombies... You're only going to have six shots at the most 
in one mag and then well not mag but whatever you want to call it 